Hi everybody, this is Amit Kumar and I welcome to Power BI tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create landing page with navigations to multiple internal pages and how I can create a global menu which will navigate you to multiple pages. So let's see. So we have this uh, different dashboards. In order to navigate to each dashboard, I will first create a landing page. I will say intro. Okay, this is my intro page. Okay, now this section we will use for the uh, buttons. Yeah, on this button section, I'll use this as a blank button. Here, this blank button can be renamed its property button text. You can switch on the button text, give the name as dashboard. Because it needs to be navigated to my dashboard page. Okay. Now it's time to just uh, share the navigation to individual pages we have let's see how it has a property called uh, actions okay action triggers we will deal with that action and triggers So while going to dashboard, I have to select this one. We'll go to its action property, switch on the action. It's very simple. And go to uh, the type we have selected. The type uh, this is selected is by default back. Okay. You have to change this button action type. There's an option called page navigation. Okay. When you select this to navigate a page, you can navigate to a particular page, and the list of the pages are available over here. You can choose it one page that should be navigated to that particular page. Second, switch on the action page navigation, choose the page sales analysis. Okay, so from our landing page, we could create a structure and this will be navigated to all the pages. Normally, in uh, when you deploy this dashboard to Power BI service or enterprise server, it will be available in a web-based interface. On a single click, it will take you to that page. But here, while we are, uh, you know, from a Power BI desktop, you want to navigate, it is prompting that to click with a control okay you have to choose the control uh, button and then click so i'm clicking over here with control it's taking me to dashboard page sales analysis it's taking me to sales analysis page All right, so 
before creating any uh, toggle button from the dashboard internal dashboards so that we can navigate to multiple pages i would like to show you one concept because before that concept we cannot navigate uh, to create the toggle buttons the concept is to create a table on the fly static table basically in power bi so normally how we create the tables uh, we we load the tables from the database we load the tables from the excels but here without having any external data set how we can create a inline table in the power bi create a new table by typing or pasting a new content so this is an option in the power bi without connecting to external data source you can create your own table so here i'm going to create a menu table okay in the menu table i will have the list of the pages through which i can be able to navigate so i will just exactly copy this pages page names click this button click this button just a second before i go and create this let me just copy these pages uh page names and put it in a notepad otherwise my spellings might be different All these data are created now, and then I have to go back to create the table. A static table basically, you can have any number of columns and any number of rows in that table. Yeah, you can see it looks like an Excel schema, and you can put the column name and rows over here. So, column names, a uh, name here I would like to define is page name okay. page name now i can keep either i can just copy and paste one one data mm -hmm. paste all yes so it's also easy and you can copy and paste all the records to create a single schema okay so table with all 12 uh, sheets has been created this will be our parameters to which we will navigate to multiple pages okay i'll give the name of this table as master pages It's like calendar, uh, master calendar. It is. Master pages, okay, that's fine. I want to see the data of that, that table here. Master pages, I can see all these data are there. Page names. And these are the pages. So why uh, we have to ensure 
in order to make a navigation so the table are created that's fine but the page names what we have given here that should be exactly same as the tab names right so this navigation is added, added on the first page in the internal page i will try to add uh, one control here now where we can put it uh, probably here in these sections i can put a navigation i may be in the extreme corner i'll try to put so uh, in order to create uh, navigation you have to use a slicer slicer object Mm -hmm. Add this slicer object, right corner. And I can just directly add these pages and page mask, page names to here. Simply I can drag it as a field. Mm -hmm. Now all this, okay, it was supposed to be out. Okay, instead of list, this is showing by default a list. Instead of list, I can just load this as a drill down. Sorry, drop down. Drop down. It is being selected as a drop down. Now you see, in a drop down, I can be able to select multiple uh, data. And all the data are. I have to make it a single selection. Slicer header, switch of the slicer header. this is look good to me i can put it on any other objects also uh, that could object will be visible and this will be also be visible right mm -hmm. let it be in the extreme corner now i want uh, on selection uh, okay uh, and then instead of that also i want one more thing Selection control is single select switch on. So when you make it single select, it will not be treated as a checkbox. It will be a radio button. So in the radio button, at most you can select one con one dashboard at a time because I want that multiple selection cannot be allowed. Okay, now with this, I want a button beside this. On selection and on mm -hmm. click, then it should be taking me to that particular page. right arrow button and this
have to define a tool tip. Text is not required, but tooltip is required. Click here to navigate. Okay, this looks like a single control. Uh, now i have to apply the action on this select this uh, drop down list go to its property sorry uh, drop down list we have created and from button this button we have to add the action yes action property you have to switch on and then choose this button type as navigation you have to use page navigation here it is a little bit tricky in the last buttons from these buttons we had and we have directly selected that particular page right but here this button will act differently right on click mm -hmm. of the same button it will take you to the multiple pages not from a single page right right here if this button was acting for a single action when i'm clicking the uh, stock analysis it was taking to stock analysis but that button is going to act multiple uh, will have a different events. Mm -hmm. Here we have to use a conditional option. So we have selected the page navigation destination. We cannot make it single. If you make it a single destination, that button will only take you to that particular page not all pages i want right. whatever the selections i would do in the drop down list that to that page only the button action will take me to so here mm -hmm. i can use uh, this fx formula editor okay here field value is fine based on a field based on which field it will take me to that particular page i have to select the table field over here the table is master, master. page right then mm -hmm. which field page name has to be selected so anytime whenever i will click that button on that button click whatever the selection would have been made from this particular field page name that will take mm -hmm. me to that particular page okay. it's is it clear mm -hmm. right. it's not actually drop down it's from the table so from a table mm -hmm. whatever the data has been filtered on that particular mm -hmm. time on that particular slicer because that's a slicer, slicer, right? Slicer acts as a filter. So whatever the filter we have made in that particular time, based on that filtration data, it will take me to that particular page. Now, let's see. We are on dashboard page. I'll I'll try to go to this sales analysis. Click here. It is taking me to sales analysis. 
so i hope you would have liked this tutorial thanks for watching stay connected bye bye